Nice County talk. It's finished nil nil with the league leaders. Torquay, disappointing really. We played really well in the first half. I thought if we can come out second half with that same intensity, you know, it, it's our game really. And I, I just think the way that we'd set up today, it was a, a different shape. We'd look to counter the way they sort of play. We had two strikers, which I think worked really well. But it's just that same problem again. It's that final ball. Like it seems to be the same every game. We've got. We all know we've got the players to, to create enough. We've got Rodriguez, we've got Enzio, you know, we've got Miller, Eli Sam, Wharton. Now we've got Ine Effiong. You know, we've got all these players that can get goals. You know, they're creative. They can make things happen, and things just we just can't seem to get that goal. And it's like when we play at home. Now, understandably, we've not played in the league since the twenty eighth of December. We can't, and it's a tough game to come straight back into against Torquay. You know, who are firing top of the league you know they're they're in good form so it, it's difficult because you feel hard done by coming away from that game nil nil you've really really wanted three points from that game well I did anyway because that is one of those games where if you come away with three points it can kick start you know a, a good run of games but yeah Torquay looked like they were fairly happy with the point as, as you would be I think Knotts would have been quite a fearsome team to come up against for them as we are obviously looking to get promotion the lineup then today, uh, I thought the lineup was probably the strongest lineup we have really. Wouldn't mind seeing Miller in there, uh, seeing how, how he plays more attacking instead of seeing him at fullback. He obviously did come on as a sub later on. But uh, the, the man that got his debut in the F Young, I thought he looked really good, you know. He was really, really good going forward. He looked physically strong on the ball. It looked like no one could get the ball off him when he had the ball at his feet. So I think he's a good addition. It's just a shame he didn't nick a goal. But yeah, I, I just feel like that, if any game, me and Tom were saying it throughout the game, if any game Jimmy Knowles could have come on and nicked a goal, that was it. He, you know, the, those games where you're just dying out for a little flick here, a flick there, or just a little tapping, he's the guy for it. And I just feel like he needs to be given that chance. So yeah, disappointed with a 0-0 nil -nil draw. I really wanted the three points against Torquay because I feel, like I said, it could have really... Gave us a good kick kick up the right way. And we could have booted on to, to, to score more and win more games. But we definitely need to work on that final ball. Definitely, because it, it's let us down massively today. Every single time that we, we went forward, it just seemed to be that final ball that we were lacking on. So maybe if it's something we need to work on in training, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Because I, I feel a bit hard done by after that one. I, I feel like... It's such a shame we didn't capitalise, you know, in that first half when we were, when we were on top. In saying that, though, Torquay did show their quality. You know, defensively, they were sound and they were very good on the counter. We were lucky not to concede a goal against them. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, just said, let us know what you think in the comments of the result. And, uh, yeah, watch out for uh, a video we're doing later on tonight, the discussion where me and Tom will be doing a discussion with two other fans of what we thought of the result and the, the, the game itself. So, thanks for watching.